so in the second segment of the content layer, we're going to talk about preparedness, your audience retention and impact, and then we're going to see how we can put it all together as we talk about this next part that is so very important, the preparedness or how as a presenter you're coming across to your audience at that very moment when the talk starts or the presentation rolls out. Preparedness. In most cases, we draw this from the television world and the film world where somebody shouts, lights, camera in action. And that's something that I think terrorizes everybody in a studio. And I'm super annoyed whenever somebody on a set does that to my cast, particularly because I think that there's a sensitivity to how a performance should roll out and our mind should be so ready and so prepared for what it is that we're going to do that those kind of noises and shakeups in the background can really cause a lot of upset. This probably started out uh, back in the early days of movie making. That was W. Griff D. W. Griffith with a megaphone, and that's where that kind of shouting and egotistical kind of element uh, crept into Hollywood in the heydays. I would say better alternatives would be uh, Clint Eastwood, for example, as a director who says, "In your own time," or somebody who says, "When you're ready." I've also seen in German cinema "Und bitte," which means and please, or if you're ready, please go. So think about being kind to yourself, work really well with the time that you have before your presentation start starts. It's not just the preparedness before, it's also how prepared you'll come across. And if all else fails, I know that the big secret is to breathe. Start by breathing deeply and get your brain in the right place, get your mind centered, and from there, the material will flow. Here's another tip that I can also give you, which is to think about the return loop. What is the return loop? The return loop is the, the way that you listen to yourself while you speak, almost as if you're reading a book out loud to um, a child and you are putting performance in there. So while you're busy speaking, there's this process that happens. Instead of the words flowing straight through from the brain to the tongue, you think about it a little bit, you speak it, you send it back through to your ears and you listen and process how the performance is going. And what you're going to find is that process of a return loop, listening to what it is that you're saying, is going to naturally slow your mind down it's going to slow your speech down and it's going to bring it down to a register that's going to work really well for your, for your listeners. I'm doing that right there. The last note that I have in this segment is really just a quote by Nancy Duarte who said, never deliver a presentation you wouldn't want to sit through yourself. And if I can pin something onto the board for you in this section, it really is to breathe, to listen to what you're doing, use that return loop, and to strive for excellence always, no matter what. In the next section, I wanna talk about the connection and retention of your piece to the audience. And in this space, we really just have to work to connect constantly, engage all the time, have a high entertainment value. Moments and repeatable sound bites. This is something that really is close to the heart. You have to figure out ways that you're going to say things, ways that you're going to land ideas that will become repeatable to your audience. Not only because you use it often in your own presentations, but also because the way that it rings and the kind of trend that it could start as if it were an online kind of mention or a meme or something. Think about your work in that way. Be truthful and sincere always, and then work to ensure that the audience understands, I can't stress this enough, what they need to do next. And what do you need to do next? Well, we have to put all of this together in a way that the content layer elements can be scored by yourself. <laughs> <laughs>